Hello YouTube and welcome. Today I'll be talking about internal resistance and the latest high precision internal resistance tester from this Chinese company FNRC, FNIRC, FRC, frankly I don't know how to pronounce the name correctly. However that's not important, the important is this little toy can be quite handy and it has a killer price. The device is utilizing the four wires AC method for measuring the internal resistance of the batteries, the signal frequency is 1 kHz, the measurement ranges are up to 100 volts DC and up to 200 ohms. It comes equipped with a convenient Kelvin clamps, large colorful display showing you voltage and resistance on the same screen, it has two work modes, meter mode and sorting mode and of course it records your measurements and gives you the ability to export them to your computer. The device is quite handy, it fits perfectly in your palm but of course you can use the convenient self-supporting stand. According to the manufacturer the body is made from shutterproof plastic. The test leads are using a bayonet connector And like I already said, are equipped with the convenient Kelvin clamps. I know the clamps look a little bit handmade with this heat shrinking sleeve on them, but remember the price. The navigation is easy, the menus are self explanatory. On home screen, in meter mode, the user can either leave the measurement ranges in auto or it can manually adjust them. In sorting mode, the user has access to 8 groups of customizable thresholds to which the measurement results are automatically compared and evaluated as pass or fail. On the left is Fluke BT521, which is probably the most expensive battery analyzer on the market today and it's just about 180 times more expensive than this here. By the way, probably now is a good time to mention that the FNRC allows the user to calibrate its readings, but for now I'll be using its factory calibrated settings. I will start my tests with few 12 volts, 2.3 amps hour batteries. The fluke measurements will be the benchmarks in those tests. Battery number one. I would say that the readings are pretty equal. Second battery. Again, pretty equal. Once again, the readings are pretty close. Now let's continue with a batch of brand new 12 volts, 7.2 amps hour batteries. Let's continue with measuring some lithium ion batteries. Measuring small cylindrical batteries with the Kelvin clamps can be quite challenging, especially if they don't have ears. That's why FNURSI is selling an additional set of test leads specially designed for measuring such batteries. Unfortunately, I don't have that set on my disposal, but it's a great addition to the product. Fluke, on the other hand, is not offering similar test leads, but the Fluke battery analyzer is targeting more the industrial batteries rather than the small consumer ones. Keeping in mind that the Kelvin clamps are not intended for measuring such batteries, 
I think the result is pretty satisfying. Again, pretty close. Let's measure two industrial quality UPS batteries. As you can see, the result is absolutely the same. Again, the result is absolutely the same. I think those measurements prove my point that the FNRC is measuring the internal resistance as good as fluke. Sometimes, due to the lower quality of the testing leads and the lower quality of the electrical contact between the battery and the leads, you might get results not perfectly correct, but for such a price, I think that the leads and the device are more than perfect choice for internal resistance meter. Sure, you don't have some of the fancy features of Fluke and all the accessories it comes with, but Fluke is targeting more the industrial users, while of Nursey is more towards the do-it-yourself enthusiasts. And not to mention the price difference, Fluke being 180 times more expensive. For hobby applications, you have everything you need in this little box, meter mode, sorting mode, device calibration, everything. Well, I think that's enough for this video review. If you'd like it, you know what to do. Bye, guys.